Good morning, friends. Miss Miranda has visited the classroom today to come do all of our experiments and projects together. So it is very quiet in here and I'm missing all that joyful noise around, but it's so nice to see the classroom again and to get to see all the beautiful artwork you have on the hallway walls and it's just nice to be here again. So for some projects today I thought we'd work on, I have an idea for a pet rock. We've got a nature um, art project, a little, um, I guess a scavenger hunt, kind of you guys get to be some detectives, and we've got a fun science experiment at the end of all of this, and I think it's going to be really cool. So the first idea I thought I'd work with is um, a pet rock. Some of you guys have your own pets at home, some of us do not get to have a pet at home. So if you've got some rocks anywhere out in your yard, it might be a fun project to paint some rocks and turn them into your little pet to take care of. You can turn your rocks into maybe a bug, you can put little googly eyes on them, you can put stripes on a yellow uh, rock and make them into a bumblebee, whatever you'd like. Now the things you might need for this project are, of course, a paintbrush or a Q-tip or something to paint with, and some paints. Now some of these paints are better for using on rocks because you can then take these rocks outside. This is some outside paint and some stronger paint, more powerful paint than we use in the classroom. So just be very careful when you do paint with this that you uh, be careful of your skin. It doesn't wash off as well as our school paint does. So I painted this rock kind of yellow and I thought maybe I would put this little uh, heartbeat on his uh, bottom maybe to turn it into like a little nose so I might glue that onto there and I might give him some googly eyes and I'm gonna turn this guy into my little uh, pet rock I think I'm gonna make him kind of like a little horse shape and I almost was even thinking I could put this star on the top of him and maybe it would look like a unicorn horn I'm not sure we'll check it out and see how he turns out and I'll take a picture after I get all done so if you want to paint some rocks and decorate them and turn them into your pets that's a fun project. Oh, and I forgot, I also had some glitter. Here's a teacher trick that we use at school a lot. If you're doing some painting, paint on a paper plate. That way the mess stays on the plate. On the plate. If you want to do some uh, glitter in Miss Miranda's room, we always try to put our projects into like a cookie tray or a pie pan. That way all of the extra glitter stays in your pan and not all over mom and dad's table. And then you can probably put the glitter back into the container when you get all done with your project. So that's the pet rocks. So I thought another fun project would be to do some um, nature hearts. This project is always kind of fun. I like doing this at my house with my kids when they were littler. What you want to do is you want to go outside and find some beautiful things outside. I actually found all of these things out on our playground here at school. I found some beautiful poppy flowers, some blackberry leaves because I'm so excited for the blackberries to come again, some beautiful rhododendrons and some azaleas, some sort of little tiny uh, flowers on these long stems, and these little purple flowers with the fuzzy, fuzzy leaves that grow in our little flower beds that we planted last year. So what you want to do with these things is you are going to make a nature heart. Now for these hearts, I use some newspaper or if you have a magazine at your house that somebody's all done reading and you can cut it up. What you want to do is you want to trace your half of a heart on your paper. I guess you need to fold your paper in half first. That's the first step. Fold your paper in half. You can draw your half of heart on one side or have somebody help you. And then you're going to cut it out because then when you open it up, after you cut it out, it makes a whole heart. And what I'm going to do with this project is I'm going to use a brush to rub my glue around because I don't want to have too much goopy glue because then it might just be kind of goopy and drippy and your things won't stick very well. But if you take your brush and you rub your, sorry, I'm trying to get this just right, rub your glue in a little bit, then your things will stick better because it'll be a little more flat. So you can take all of your things that you collected outside and decorate your beautiful nature flowers. I think this one might look really pretty over here. I'm gonna bring this curly one all along the side of my heart. So, whatever you find outside that you think is beautiful and you want to add to a, a paper heart is kind of a fun project. And I like to hang these up on the fridge or hang them up where you can see them and enjoy all of the nature that's inside or the, the nature that's outside and bring it on inside. So, these ones are fun to do too. Now, if you were into being a detective at home, since we don't get to come to school, we play these games a lot at circle time in my classroom. Now, I have a lot of flashcards with different things. I've got some alphabet flashcards. I've got some shapes and color flashcards. If you don't have flashcards at home, 
that's okay. You can do your own thing on your own paper. You can draw the letters. You can draw shapes. You can use a chalkboard to do your stuff. You can use a wipe off board, whatever you want to write on or uh, use for your cards. Now, what we do with the alphabet one is somebody draws this card and we see this is the letter C and we know that that makes a K -K -K sound. So if you pull this letter, you have to go around your house and find something with the letter C and bring it back to the table as fast as you can. So let's take a scan around the room real quick and see if we can find anything with the letter C. Crayons. I have crayons in one of my baskets over here. Crayons is a C word, so I would bring that crayon back to the table and show everybody I found something with the letter C. You can do the same thing with shapes. Maybe you can go on a shape hunt. You can pull up um, cards with different shapes. Maybe you have to find something with a star. Maybe you have to find a circle shape. You can have a detective game right in your house. It's kind of fun to do those things when it's a rainy day, like we've been getting a lot of this week. So, all right, guys, here's my fun project. This is one that I've been seeing uh -huh. on um, YouTube, I guess, probably. And this science experiment is going to do a little, um, I guess they call it like a lava lamp or maybe almost like a volcano kind of exploding sort of thing. So what we're going to do with this project is you will need some water, plain old water right out of the sink, some vegetable oil if you have some of that in your kitchen, some food coloring to make it... Uh, really visible. I use pink or red. It looks really good kind of because it makes it look lava. And then I picked some of these up at the store. Uh, they're kind of like Al Alka-Seltzer tablets, little, um, oh, what do they call those? I guess it's if you get a sick tummy kind of people take those and it kind of bubbles up. So that's going to be the secret ingredient into our experiment. So I'm going to try to hold this, scooch in my chair a little bit. Now what you want to do is you want to put the water in first. And I will tell you something about water and oil. They do not like each other. They do not like to blend well and mix well. They are made from different things. Water molecules only like to stick to water, and oil molecules really only like to stick to oily things. So watch this as we put the oil in here, and you're gonna see that the water and the oil will stay separate, and they will not want to mix together when they're in the big vase. I picked a very big vase so you guys would be able to see this really well. You can use a water bottle at home. You can use a big bowl. Just make sure it's something clear so you'll be able to see through the glass. All right, so do you see how the water has stayed on the bottom and the oil is staying on the top? That's because the water is a little bit denser than the oil, so it's going to stay on the bottom. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put some of this food coloring in here. And don't be afraid to add lots of drops of food coloring. You want to see lots of color happening, so put lots in. Now, once again, this food coloring is probably made more with water, so it should drip through that oil and go to the bottom. So that'll be the first thing we're going to watch and see if we can get all of that water to go through the oil and start dropping to the bottom. Oh, there we go. I see some of it starting to come through. Okay. So here's our last step, friends. We're going to put in this fizzy, bubbly Alka Seltzer tablet, and we're going to let it uh, fizz up and see what happens. All right. I think we've got enough color in there. And the trick is drop it in slowly. You don't want to throw it in there. All right. I'm going to pull this back so we can see what happens. It's starting to bubble. Okay, it's doing its thing. Do you guys notice the water coming up through the oil now? You should be getting to see big purple blubbly bubbles coming through there pretty soon. Ooh, maybe I did too much color. It turned it pretty dark. Kind of neat watching all of those uh, fuzzy bubbles come right through the oil. It's trying to push that water through. Well, I'm so glad that that kind of worked out, guys, because with science, you never know. Sometimes it works out great. Sometimes you have to try it again. Well, that's really cool. This package of uh, fuzzy tablets came with a lot, so you can maybe try it once or twice. See how that works for you. Share your ideas and your... Uh, 
pictures with me at the end. And I also wanted to show you guys, if you are one of the kids in Miss Miranda's room, I went around my windows and I wrote all my names on the windows for you guys. I miss you if you're in town and you're driving by. Come on through the parking lot, see if you can find your name up there. I love you and I miss you. Have a great holiday weekend.